This is Paul Newell from the New Wellness Men's Guide. And uh, I'm, I'm on here to talk about a lesson I learned as a non-custodial parent. And, um, you know, I put this message out here because especially for dads that have gone through divorce or that um, don't live with their kids, um, you know, there's there's a piece of it that I feel there's a side of it that's not known. Um, you know, the perception could be like if a father's not involved or if a father's rough or what have you that, you know, they're not a good father, they're not a good parent or, um, you know, they're deadbeat or whatever the saying could be. And I'm... Um, I'm here because, and why I do this New Wellness Men's Guide, and why I work with men, is because I want to give them, I want to give us uh, the confidence to be who we are in all of our settings. And that means all of who we are, not holding back. And my judgment is that in our world, for a man to really bring all of himself, there could be fears, there's projections, there's all sorts of things. And many times when men don't know how to bring themselves <clears throat> in a way that's for the highest alignment of us all. There can be a lot of toxicity. There can be hatred, um, isms, privilege, all sorts of things. So what? Why I'm why I'm talking about this is because today I had a scenario that I thought was really interesting with my son, and um, and I feel like it's something that could happen with a non-custodial parent. So to give you the scenario, um, you know, I was picking up my son from a birthday party and um, and I went to go see him and and he was like, you know, dad, go stay over here. Go stay over here. Like when he was playing with his friends. My son's younger. He's under 10. Um, so I know some parents that are watching this would be like, oh, wait till you get a teenager. And I get that. But what uh, came up was like, you know, my son had said before that he had been embarrassed of me and it hurt and I just acted like it didn't. And this time when it happened, I was like, what are you embarrassed of me? He was like, yeah, yeah, I am. And I was really freaking hurt because, you know, I just was in that space for the day where I just wasn't feeling great about myself. I was just like in a lot of in a lot of my head and um, just thinking about what's next. And, um, you know, it's really wild because his words just had an impact on me, man. It sparked an emotion. And, you know, I was just really cranky. And, like, when I had him, I didn't talk in the car on the way home. Like, I didn't really talk to him when I got back. I was just in my thoughts because I knew the words that he spoke were words. You know, so I figured, like, I was like, listen, man, in my head, I was like, I'm going to teach this dude a lesson about words and how empow how powerful they are. Now, here's where it got really freaking funky, because like after a while, after I got to settle in a little bit, I I started really diving in and asking him, like, so what what about you embarrasses me? And this is a piece here I want to highlight for dads, non-custodial dads. You know, if if your your kids say something to you that is just hurtful um, or that hurts you or that upsets you, one of the things I learned today uh, is to ask what about me upsets you? And in this case, I was like, what about me embarrasses you? Because I want to know. I was in my head like, I can't believe he's embarrassed me. Uh, I'm just terrible. And really what it was, was um, like, wow. Like he has, he was like, you know, because you're loud, because you're singing songs all the time. And, and that was his thing. He just didn't want to, he just thought I was just singing songs. So that's one lesson, right? That's That's the lesson of, dig deeper into the words, all right? So originally I came in, I was like, oh, I'm gonna teach this kid a lesson about words and how important they are and how impactful they are. And I learned that lesson for myself because a word is a word. I align the, I align the feeling to it. I do, not anyone else. I truly do. Like you know, if I'm falling victim to whatever I'm conditioned to, then sure. I can fall into whatever emotion uh, I'm, I'm conditioned to feel I should have. So the great thing about this is after, after we had some conversation, I, I saw my son was really upset because like he asked, he was like, Daddy, you mad at me? I was like, no, I'm just hurt, man. 
It just hurt, man. I was like, how would you like it if I said that? I was like, that wouldn't be cool if I said that about you. And the moment in there, there the second lesson was the emotional intelligence. And when he started getting upset, when he was crying, I asked him, I was like, so what makes you sad? What makes you sad, man? And I got to find out a lot about him. Like, you know, he doesn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And the powerful lesson I got to relay, which I'm most likely going to relay a lot of other times, is that, you know, people, we got we to gotta speak our truth. That, for my son, was his truth, right? He was able to express what... Um, what 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 embarrassed what what I how I embarrassed him. He was also able to express what made him sad. And after he had his time, I just let him have his time. Just let him have his time. Um, you know, he was upset and and um I just wanted to step away and just let him just be in that space. And then when I came back, like when he calmed down, I sat next to him and I said, Hey man, I I um thank you for your truth. And he was like, he had this look on his face, like, what? I was like, thank you for your truth. Thank you for telling me what was real for you. And thank you for, for being honest, man. And I was like, it's not always easy to be honest. It may hurt some people's feelings, but it hurts more when you're not honest, uh, when you're not telling what's real for you. And that's a lesson, like, not only I'm, I'm looking to teach him, but that's a lesson I'm constantly learning myself because... You know, it's like, um, you know, as a non-custodial parent, like I had this thought in my mind, like whenever my son or when my when our son comes to hang out with me, it's got to be fun times. I'm yawning because it's late. It's got to be fun times. Hey, daddy, fun time. And that's not what it is. I'm a father. I'm not, I was like, look, I, I can be your friend, but I'm your father and your dad first. I'm a guide for you, man. Because I went walked this path before and we chose each, we chose each other in some way. So the whole reason why, why I say this is, why I put this video out here is, as a non-custodial parent, it's helpful to get to the truth. Because for me, being going through divorce, I can, I can be in all sorts of emotion around the divorce and my feelings towards that. And when I'm not careful, it spills out into my relationship with my son. So this is an important factor because for a parent, for us to get locked into whatever's happening with a relationship with our kids, co our co-parents, we got we get to do the best that we can to stay in this space to be there for our kids because that's what it's really about. And when it comes down to really bringing a key message home, it's, the, it's being in truth. What's your truth? What 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 does that really mean for you? What is this? Asking questions. And you know, sometimes my son doesn't like when I ask questions and I get it. But today I'm happy I ask questions. <sighs> Tired. I'm happy I ask questions <laughs> because you know what? I wouldn't have been able to get to the truth. I wouldn't have been able to know like, okay, what about it? What about it that I do really embarrasses him? What makes him sad? Like what was behind what like when he found out I was hurting, but what made him sad? And I found that out. Now, here's also the funny thing. Because we open up this line of communication between us, he was like, so why? He was like, why do you sing so much? I was like, I like to sing when I'm happy, man. And uh, I said, a lot of times singing will get me out of a bad mood. I'm, I'm, I'm singing because I'm happy to be alive. And he said, oh, I thought you were just singing because you're crazy. <laughs> That's my boy. So I say this to you all as, as, uh, as someone that's in the struggle with you. You're not alone. You're not alone. These things that are happening, these things that go on, they, listen, they happen to a lot of dads. We may not always talk about it, but it's true. It's true. And there may be something that came up for you as a dad that you're like, damn, man, this seems pretty similar. And if so, leave a comment. You know, maybe that's something that I talk about in another video. Um, you know, my thing here in this in this existence is I found my purpose, and that's really and that's to help men. That's to help us to be in our highest form and our highest alignment. 
not only for ourselves, but for not not just for ourselves, but for our kids, for our, for our, our partners, for our community, for the world, for the world. So be in your truth and know that you always have a guide. You always have someone there that can support and someone there that can help you. Just someone there that can just listen when you need it. Because I'm telling you, there's going to be times when these lessons that we have to teach um, have to come through. And it's and it's uncomfortable to be in there to teach that, to, to, to talk to our kids and to be in that space for my, for speak for myself, to be in that space for myself where I don't feel that great about myself as a dad. Where I don't feel like I'm doing, like, you know, I'm, I don't feel like I'm living up to that standard of what the great dad is. Mm. That's what happens. So, this is Paul Newell from the New Wellness Men's Guide. As I learn and integrate, I teach and guide. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to do this for the men um, out there uh, that are going through some things. I'm here for you. And this is a guide and a resource for you always. Be well, and until our next time, see you.